What's up, you guys? It's been years. Um, welcome back to my channel. I have two festive drinks in hands. I got two drinks. I have two pickles. I have two pickles. So I'm excited. Um, our local juice shop had a little buy one, get one. I got my acai bowl and a beets treat, so let's go. And then obviously a pink drink, trying to lay off caffeine. It has a little bit in there and a little sugar to give me a lift for this video. So anyway, I am going to show you guys how to go from this to this. Oh, what is everyone's plans? for this evening. Did you guys already go out? I'm going in with some brightening serum, my Clarins, I love it. This is approved by my esthetician. She now approves all my things. Next, we're gonna be going in with a Bright and Sea mask. I actually I was told that you need to use this as a moisturizer. And then I'm feeling a little bit puffy right now, so I want to So I'm scraping and then I definitely feel like some little knots in my jaw from clenching. Next, we're gonna go in and do some I don't really feel like this helps if you get any sort of like puffiness from allergy season, especially in here. I feel like you can do it. It's like a true point to the hair if you're doing it with your fingers. And then here. Still learning the gua sha, but I definitely feel like it has helped me be puff. And then right around here, too, this spray. This is a lot of lymphatic damage comes in. And then I feel like that's good. Next, we're gonna go in. Ooh. Gotta do the Laneige. Girl, I'm determined. I've had this thing for like maybe a year. I've only got like halfway through <laughs> it. The only downfall is I'll get a random two little zits. Do you really have that happen like right on the top lip? And apparently it's from the coconut oil. It is clogging the pores. It's not bad enough they're like so tiny but i did notice that that pops up so next thing i'm going to do is i want to get into some base i've been loving these two drugstore products actually so this one i've been using for a very long time and i love it's very light in texture but it gives like medium coverage. And then this guy, I've already gone to two of these. And this is the Camo Correcting CC Cream by e.l.f. And I like to mix them. They're like the perfect texture. And I am wanting full coverage tonight. I am having a few breakouts, but nothing major. So I'm actually gonna go in with my foundation first. And I did two pumps of my CC cream and two pumps of this guy. It's the hyaluronic acid. 
So I'm gonna warm it up. And honestly, I haven't been applying with a brush. I've been just going in with my fingers. So I'll never forget though, watching <laughs> Nikki tutorials do like a throwback video when she did this. And I was like, but actually it's kind of genius because you're not wasting product and then you're gonna go in and buff it out anyway. This is how I get my makeup done in literally like five minutes and I'm out the door. And this like melted in. So what I like to do after I've hand applied my foundation is go ahead and press out all the edges and blend that first layer. I've been wearing my face makeup kind of medium coverage. Um, so I'm gonna go in and just do some spot concealing. And then I add some of this Fenty, so high low. Do my eyes first. Pop her out to highlight her. Pop on these guys. And that Maybelline Fit Me concealer is super light. Okay, if you don't get every little communication, because this lighting is light. But like real life lighting is. Not as intense, so I'd rather look natural and kind of see some, you know, variances in the skin than look heavily caked anymore. <laughs> That's how far we've come. I used to wear so much. And I'm not swiping or patting. Mm -hmm. My dog has separation anxiety. And he's right here wondering what the heck am I doing? Not paying attention to him. He wants to be on my lap. He's like literally right by my feet. I'm like, what are you doing? Do you guys want to see him? Go here. Oh, everybody. This is Jake. Oh my gosh. He is like, Mama, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Hi. Can you say hi? He's Mama's boy for sure. Okay. You gotta go down. I love you. Okay. So the skin is looking really good. It's looking glowy. Not too beat. Next, we're gonna go in with some Laura. I love a Laura Mercier. And, um, what's his name? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna insert his thing right here. He said to go in first with some loose powder. And first press if you're gonna go into baking. I find that later, if I need to touch up, I actually do a bit of a foundation powder to brighten and kind of add a little pigment. But for layering purposes, I like to go in and touch up those kind of oilier areas, and then same thing across the lid here. Put that sheer powder across the lid. And that's about all the setting I do these days. And then when I go in with my bronzing powder, that's kind of when it melts in and sets that area. But I don't do much powder because I feel like this sets. If you do your, your base pretty thin, it will set and then you won't have to use too much powder. Next, I'm going in with the color bronzer from Physician's Formula here. And I am going to be taking a Real Techniques brush and we're gonna start back in this high place here. I know everyone's doing their stuff like super high, but I am going up a little higher than my, what I used to do, but not as high up because my face, I like to kind of chisel out this here. It's kind of my face shape though. Like I'm aiming for a bit more sculpted oval. And then I like to tuck it under here. Make sure I hit up that jawline all the way on the ear. 
And then if I'm taking some photos and I want my neck to look a little snatched, I'll take a little bit just right in this area. Okay, this is where I like to shadow her more and more. Oh. Envelope, little heart arrow. And the one thing I used to do was I used to paint this heavier to make that shorter. But I actually have been liking trying to make it more longer in the face and then just kind of cross over gently there. And then I'm gonna go with my fluffy detailed brush like this, same bronzer. And I'm gonna go under that lip. This is kind of how you get that pout. It's got orange vibes. Then this is where I'm gonna start carving out my face. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of eyeshadow today. And this is how we get out the door so fast too. This is gonna be a part of my like five minute. Then I'll go into the eyebrow, connect into the nose. This is fluffy. And up. Everyone always says how good my makeup looks, and that's because I always lightly sculpt my face, even if I don't have a lot of eye on. And then, the hack I learned a long time ago with me in New York, have this Laura Mercier counter. Go back in with that bronzer again. Because I'm not doing like an eyeshadow look with like five different eyeshadows, I'm actually gonna go in with that brush and it's just gonna pick up and kind of carve out that eye and then brush it into the temple so that creates this gradient flow i love a flow and if you really want to like chisel out the face a smidge more i'll just do a little bit right in here in this back area so i am going to go in and take this Bronzer by L'Oreal Unfuckable. This is the color D tan. I was super tan when I bought this. This was Cancun Days, honey. So I'm gonna go in with that detailed brush again. I'm just gonna go into my crease and create a little more depth in there. And connect to the feet. I'm going to smoke out just this outer corner and kind of flick it out upward at an angle here. That way it looks lifted. I used to try and go out more and now everything's up and up. She's 30. She's in her 30s. Oh my gosh. I'm using a tighter brush for those darker tones so it doesn't like go and just consume all of that sculpting etching. Okay, we're gonna try and ignore his cuteness and move on. I'm gonna go on with my Real Techniques blush brush now. Happy with kind of maybe overall sculpting and just melting out all the tones. Okay, I have been loving the Strawberry Fields palette by Miss Jacqueline. Slowly introducing some of her items into my kit. And I've been loving, oh my gosh, I use it so much that it's like getting scraped off. When I'm darker, I love cobbler in the corner. It's like a beautiful terracotta and I'll go a little bit deeper because these brighter tones right here are for when I'm a little bit more fair. And these will look a little bit ashy, but these are gorgeous eyeshadows. So I might just do a wash of this magenta leader. Let's see. So I'm actually gonna hit up these, and this is an eyeshadow palette, it's not her blush palette, but I love it for that reason. I'm gonna mix these two, and I'm going to go up higher here. Never start, like, boom, right on the apple. It tends to look really aggressive. You can slowly, like, airbrush that in. I always say, like, need like, a two-finger area right there, just like keep that nice and bright. That way when it hits the cheek here, you just have all that dimension. And then I want to connect all of this. I kind of want it to look like a watercolor. 
So I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna just flick it across the eye. We're just thinking like whimsical, a little whimsy, a little whimsy makeup. Just like almost editorial, it's like, ooh, it washes the cut out. Looks great. When I love blush, I'll layer a little bit more and then once I'm done with eyes and everything, I'll usually touch it up again. You can see, like, she's just looking snatched and gorgeous and blendy, not harsh. So next I'm going to go in with my fan brush here. And don't laugh at my packaging, you guys. How much I love it. This is the <laughs> you know, lip on it even. Precious Petals by Wet n Wild here. And I'm going to fan this out and so now I'm going to be doing my highlighting and I love to hit up the nose here straight down and come down right here and then under that on the chin and then this is where I like to kind of detail the eyes again Whew, I need a drink break my baby was crying and Be careful with those Starbucks lids. I was out and about. I went to go pick up my drink. Psh, it literally like flopped off. You know, coffee all over my hand. Thankfully, I was just laying on black. But... Okay. Where were we? We were highlighting. So we were getting into this guy here. <laughs> Beautiful packaging. But we're going to tuck that underneath the brow. No, I haven't put anything on my brows yet. I'm going to go in and kind of clean. Uh, but I'm just sweeping that and lifting how that color is done. Okay. I'm doing the nose. Do this guy, we touched on that. And if you like, up here. Okay. Next. So it catches the orange. Love it. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go in with that same powder, and I'm going to. It's kind of my hack, too. I just keep everything the same products and just placement and the tools that you use are just like helping you to get out the door faster. So, I actually want to pack that highlighter on the lid with a flat. Fluffy brush. My personal fave is I like to kind of touch it right in here, the crease beneath, and then set it off in the corner. See how that looks like? So dimensional now. 3D. So that just kind of opens the eye up there. You could have left this matte. And just done mascara, or you can kind of do a bit of liner. There's several different routes you can go to end this makeup look, but this is what I'm going to know. Stopping right before that outer third of the eye. I'm not swiping all the way across the email that contour that we did. No. Boom. Eyes just look glowy. Next, I'm going to be going in with my eyebrow fave. I did buy some Anastasia brow freeze. I'm excited to try. Um, this is the Thick It Stick It by my ex. I love it for brow products, lip products, super cheap, but performs great. So, I'm going to go in with um, the warmer tone of eye that you see the redhead. I do not film any makeup really through those days. But it's not like a potent auburn color. So I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> just gonna add some like 3D effect, you know? I always recommend like not using dark brown. Boom. Just unless you have extremely dark 
hair or complexion because I feel like it looks a little harsh. That was one of my tips to one of my brunettes was to use a more taupey kind of um, liner for your eyebrows. So next I'm just gonna go in. That had a little bit of pigment, so that kind of filled it in, made it look, you know, warm and airy. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Micro Brow in Brunette. And I'm just gonna do a light pressure, kind of underlining natural. Just little hairy strokes in here. Really paying attention to the arch and tail. And Chris pop that line underneath here. And then copy this side. I haven't had my eyebrows professionally handled in years. I've been just like hitting up the middle and the arches myself. I have been very curious what someone else with their professional set of eyes would do for tinting, laminating, waxing shape on me. Sometimes my eyebrows are very uh, what's you call it? Asymmetrical. This one likes to do what I do. This one likes to do what I do. So I think laminating them would make them more like sisters. This is my switching this term when it comes to eyebrows. But that is the dream. The dream would be to have twins. So we're gonna make an appointment. And I will bring you guys along for that. Vlog. So I'm very excited. I just watched um, Carly Bible. She was a little video and we went and visited Nicole Guerrero. They're like OG, OG YouTube people and I adore them. And I forgot that like literally this time last year I was going to buy her whole kit. She did this video, it was amazing where she talked about her vlog kit and like how compact it is and the type of camera and the lens. And it was amazing. It was truly, truly amazing. So I can't wait. She bless her for just doing all the grunt work. And hopefully she makes a little bit off that video. Because I can see how amazing that setup is. Everything is like super light and portable and your girl is going to Europe so I really want to vlog that trip and my bestie Rebecca is coming with and I'm really excited to take you guys with me and then I'm going to up a little bit with my pencil brush and a nude powder. So this is when I kind of go into my pressed foundation powder. This is the Infallible Fresh Wear in Vanilla. And I just take a tiny bit on my pencil brush. And the brows to me, I like them a little and fluffy. And then I'm going to look in here with a little bit of brightness. I'm going to go in with my real techniques. And I'm going to do that. And just like you, it does like a finishing powder. Oh good. Sculpted. And we are going to top this off. You could totally do a lash. I am not gonna do a lash today. I just am gonna load up my mascara.
Oh my gosh. Just brought home this mirror. The pores look pretty good. Little breakouts over here. It's just totally hormonal. Skin's looking hydrated. We'll let that dry down. The key, if you mess it up, get some mascara on your eye, let it dry all the way, and then scrape with the spoolie. Next, I just want to look at the eyes. They look very awake and Gorgina. I want to do a little bit of smoke underneath, now that I'm kind of looking at everything. And I want to do a potent red lip. And I've been loving these. These are so fun. They're the Super State Vinyl Ink by Maybelline. And I literally bought five shades of red a while back and I've just been playing with them. So I think what I want to do is use, let's see, Laurel, this is like the red red. Let me do like a slightly ombre look. So like red on the outside, a little kinky fuchsia in the middle. It's like just a flash of difference to the eye. <laughs> Gotta keep these fresh. So I already kind of exfoliated my lips earlier. And I have just the remnants of that sleep mask on, so I'm gonna go in. I do have to shake these up for like 30 seconds. And then these are real liquidy, so just kind of brush that off and we're gonna do a nice thin coating to make the line and then clean it up later. I like to do slight overline. Just in the center. And then, so that was the red and color royal. I'm gonna take this one. This is called I'm um, color 30, number 30. I'm gonna shake it up. And the nice thing about these, these stay fairly well. Unless you're eating some like really oily food and you're bumping. Uh, the way that these stay on is great. I'm gonna take that and do just the middle. Tell your future like a psychic. And then you're supposed to let these guys dry. So you don't want to do like mushing your lips together. That's why you want to do like thin coat, thin coat, and just like let that probably dry. And the nice thing is I don't feel like I need a lip liner. It goes slow, thin layer that lip liner with that tool in. The doe foot is amazingly sculpted and thin so you can really get in there. Especially if you have a good magnifying mirror. See how much like that played off the blush and just made like the skin like look glowy and then that would pop. And then from there, I'm gonna just do a little smoke, just a smidge more. I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer, the darker one, and just What time is it? Yeah, I'm using super light touch, like not pressing the brush whatsoever. 
brush and this guy again. This is kind of like a fluffier one, not a super tight one. And I just want to do this outer. And yes, I need to do that to get close to my eyes. Blended, sculpted, giving or Gina model. Now we're gonna do something with this hair and get into our outfit. And then we're gonna go and get drinks. So there you guys have it. Hi, messy, cute hair. Ready to go for drinks. Dinner. Cheers to you. Happy spring. I'm ready. The spring's already cold. It's right. But I hope you guys enjoyed.